What's going on guys, your boy Thermic here. We're going to pick up where we left off on Destiny, the campaign with the Hunter. So we've had an armor update, we've had gun updates, and now we're going to continue on on our Earth. We have Moon over here now, but we're going to continue on, finish off Earth here. Uh, the missions we've already completed, Restoration and the Dark Within. So the way you can tell if you completed these missions are, is as you see this one up here, the War Mind. It's not filled in compared to the ones that we've already completed, the Dark Within and Restoration. So those ones are already completed, they're filled in, that's how you know. Um, we did unlock Patrol on Cosmodrome, so you can pick up Spin Metal and get Vanguard reputation from it. And um, a Strike, which it wants you to be level 8, so that's why it says very hard over in the right hand corner. But we're going to go ahead and continue the campaign with the War Mine. And um, it says that you should be level 4, but I'm kind of behind. Um, so I'm going to hopefully pick that up. I know I should level up this match or this campaign story mode mission. So hopefully the Vanguard's reporting that this is going to be too difficult for me. I'm starting to think they aren't just looting the place. Whatever they're looking for, we should probably find it first. I'm not sure if I'm capturing the whole screen. Um, I'm going to try and adjust that here. So before we get started, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, I think I fixed most of the screen problem. Um, I'm going to see what I can do about it. Uh, kind of a little later there. I'm not sure why it's not getting the whole screen. I'll, I'll fix that for sure for the uh, next video. <laughs> This pulse rifle. Almost forgot I had double jump. Now this isn't much like the Warlocks. I'm used to jumping so much higher with the Warlocks uh, because that's who I've played most of the time. This just kind of seems like a uh, quick jump. Sort of like, um, if you use this in the Crucible, you don't seem like you jump high, you just use it for a jump shot, which is one of the most difficult things to do in the multiplayer. Um, I know I've done it a couple times, but it's I, it's hard. Even for somebody like me who likes first-person shooting games, doing jump shots are extremely hard. Kind of throws your aim off quite a bit because of recoil and... The way the game formatted, with the format of the game, it just makes it a little harder to do that. I wouldn't suggest it. So now I got a sparrow. If you want to get your sparrow, we could be in the forgotten shore in seconds. All right. So I got this slow piece of crap. But, it is what it is, and it's just to help me finish this mission. He says we can get there in seconds, but with this thing, eh. Still feels like a minute or so. It probably is, actually. So now you see, you see that event on there, that still eliminate this target, but that kind of requires time to do. I don't have the time, and it, uh, it does require quite a bit of power, which right now, I have like none. So there's no point to do that event, no point to get involved in the event. go here, have the ghost scan it, 
you explore if you want. This guy must be down below. Let's check the other one. So now I must go over her. Oh no, I can't die, I can't die. Oh! Why it spawned them there, I don't know. I should never have died, but okay. It gave me a closer spawn to that, so I don't really care. But it should definitely have never spawned me there. At all. That kind of makes me a little mad there, because that spawn was terrible for them. I gotta go around. Wait. Maybe. Like this guy came to help me. He's just making my job easier. Oh. But I can't do that. So I guess you can only do it one at a time, which that's stupid. So I think I'm getting the hang of the hunter jump. You got it, it's more of a delayed jump if you want to get light. Let's check it out. So now I gotta go infiltrate a spot. Definitely don't feel like fighting them. This sparrow is definitely not the best. It's, it's a crappy sparrow. Oh, I'm on respawn restricted. Oh, that was a failed grenade. again. I will say though, you, there there will be point in time where you will probably die early on in this game because uh, you might not be a high, at the high enough level that they want you to be at or just, you know, you get ganged up or there's unfortunate spawn. Unfortunate spawns happen a lot. Getting some headshots here. Those headshots are uh, big damage dealers. Um, I'm not even halfway of getting my arc blade. That's gonna be a little probably next mission by next time. We get to the campaign here. That's when I'll have my arc play. I wish in the back of the I room. could have it sooner. Uh, if I don't go run and hide. Uh, I 
hate those invisible bastards. Now I gotta get this cat. Once I get him, he'll get all good. Oh, jeez. Him and frickin' teleport. Next part is gonna probably be harder than crap because I'm pretty sure it spawns a lot of people. This is probably gonna be the second longest episode I have. The fallen are trying to access these machines. Something is fine. This will take some time. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna visit the tower because I probably got stuff at the tower to get. So after this mission, to the tower we go. Maybe it's done by now. Nope. It just wants me to die. Oh, there's another server door. Kinda ignoring them because the servitors are a little harder to kill. Got a gun. 
one. Okay, I pulled out everything they managed to steal. So it looks like he's done finally. Making sure there, if there's any ammo for me or not. Uh, after that, I'm pretty sure I gotta destroy this. Probably shouldn't waste all the fusion rifle ammo. Leveled up. They didn't get much. That's good. Kept hitting an active um, firewall. Older. Russian. I kind of got the same hand cannon. So what we do with that is we just delete it. Alright, level 4, so now I can get boots on. Get rid of those. And he's protected. And a better helmet, thank god. We have to find a way to reach so now the, the defense is getting up there. Now it's time to visit the tower and see what rewards we got. Uh, boots that I don't want. So now we continue on. We're gonna go to the tower and end the episode there because as you see we have oh we have one more mission on earth to do. So that'll be the next mission. As one that I did not know about apparently. So that will definitely be the next mission after this one. This is a very long video. I do apologize for that. This one's going to probably be up within two days after this last episode because of how long it is. And now we get to go, see the, go to the tower and see what kind of goodies we have because we have some people to go visit. We're at the 18 minute mark and uh, we need to fly through the tower. So I got two places to go. One's bounty boards. So we're going to check the bounty boards out real quick and then after that we're going to go down to the hunter guy in the bottom. Six patrols, 200 sensor mites, and 100 enemies without dying. Those are all fairly easy so I'm going to grab all three of those and then we're gonna go to the guy that's the hunter kind of keeper guy I guess you could say and see what he has He's probably gonna tell me to go visit the uh, the gunsmith so now we have a choice a helmet gauntlets or chest piece so the helmet gives grenade hits, restore melee energy, increase reload speed with scout rifles, that's the gauntlets, and carry more ammo for pulse rifles, that is the chest armor. So we're going to open our character, and we're going to compare. Chest piece, does, we already have a 23 defense, so we compare it with this to see the difference. That's 34, so that's only a 11 increase, not bad. Uh, with the gauntlets, that's at 17, and these gauntlets are at... 24 so that's a seven increase so, so far the chest piece has done better for us helmets at 30 this one's at 21 that is a nine increase but then you got to take in consideration what these all do right here so i get strength plus nine discipline plus seven and strength plus 13. Well, I'm more likely to go with this one right here, the chest piece, because I can get more pulse rifle ammo. Um, I don't have a scout rifle, so I wouldn't have a use for that. And I don't have melee unlocked at this point in time, so the helmet just isn't there. We're going to grab the chest piece. 
that is one good thing to do because then um, you can see what you have to work with. So now my defense is at 90. So that was a good increase. These are those boosts I picked up I don't want. So now we are fairly good. Um, we're going to go to the gunsmith, and that's where we're going to end this episode because we're at 20 minutes already. About to be 21. We got to see what the gunsmith has. Even though it's time we go to orbit, but that will be the next episode that we do. So if he has any good weapons, which doesn't look like it, got to be level 6 for those weapons. So overall, nothing that I want. So that's where we're going to end the episode here, uh, guys. Thank you for watching this. Um, I do appreciate the support that the people who are watching this, I do appreciate that. Thank you. If you can, spread the video. Um, I appreciate that a lot. Make sure you subscribe to me. If you can get other people to subscribe to me, that is greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, I just want to, you know, grow, and I just want to keep giving you guys content that I think you guys should deserve, and um, content that can be useful for you guys. Um, thank you very much for watching this. Follow me on Twitter. It's going to be in the description below. Make sure you drop a like if um, you do like this, if this was very helpful, and until the next episode, peace.